Hey guys, um, so I'm, uh, going to do some mail reading. Um, would you expect any less? <laughs> I don't know why I even said that, because that was kind of silly. There are already five people at my server, but I'm gonna let, I'm gonna make them wait. I'm gonna make them wait, because I have to go read mail at Hypixel. Why? Well, because I want to. <laughs> I'd rather do it at Hypixel. Jeez, what the heck? I'd rather read it at Hypixel first, than go to my server and read it after that. Um, mainly because I, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, oh, mainly because they were down for so long and I feel kind of like I miss them, you know? But also because the mailbox system is a little bit better than the one that I made. The mailbox system that I made is actually making me kind of mad. Because I put book and quills in one chest, I expect people to write a message and then put it in the other chest. But they don't. They either take the book and quills and just hoard them, so they'll be like, somebody will have like five of them without even writing in them or anything. Or people will just use them up like crazy and they'll just write message after message after message. Some of them that don't even make sense and I have to throw them out. And I can't read them. And then there are some that are inappropriate and I will not read. I guess it's a good thing I usually read these things before I do a video. That being said, um, I actually didn't read any messages, or at least not that many, at Hypixel yesterday. So a lot of these are going to be new messages. New to me, new to you. This should be fun. Let's go, shall we? I don't even know who I am right now. Sorry, that was my, uh, my little thermos cup thing. With the top back on it snapped on. Death by glamour. Oh, I'm Sans. Okay. I'm, I'm Genocide Sans without the scar. Alright, so let's see how many unread. Oh, I have one unread. Oh. Did I get really any mail here? Oh, yeah, okay. So I have four. Alright. So I have five messages to read here. That's not horrible. But then I have to go and do my, um, I have to go to the lobbies and do my mystery boxes and whatnot. I had a whole bunch of them yesterday. It was crazy. Two Sands by Maybe Not. <laughs> I like that name. That's cool. Nest, 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 From Bill Cipher. Cipher. Cip. What? Or whatever. I don't know who that is. I know, I think that's a character from a thing. But I don't know what thing. If it's Steven Universe, I am not familiar with that at all, so sorry about that. And, uh, Ness, I know why you're saying that. I know. Look up, everybody who's watching this, look up Game Theory Sans, or, or Game Theory, um, just Game Theory Undertale Sans or something like that, and you'll see, you'll see what they mean by that. Um, so yeah, that's that, okay. <laughs> and if that isn't the reason why you were saying it, then why were you saying it? Goo by Bacon Man Zero. That's also an awesome name. <laughs> Goo. Go, go, go! Um, that is a pretty mad baby. If it's a baby. I don't know. Please, by Puka. If I make you. Oh, wow, I can't read. If I make a YouTube channel, will you help me with videos? Sure. Uh, I don't know what, what kind of help you need. I can give you advice and stuff. Or I could even, I mean, I don't know, we could even, like, do videos together or something. I don't know. Collaborations or something like that. But I'm not sure how to go about doing that when it comes to Minecraft, so, I don't know. Zanes! By Sapphire YT. YouTube. Zanes! Why do people insist on doing that to my mailbox? Like, if this was real life... Oh, God, the amount of letters I would get in my mailbox would just say, Zanes! And nothing else it would be absolute... Chaos. Skeleton by Sapphire White Hair. Papyrus Sans. Sans. Yeah. Papyrus. Why? Why aren't you going? Yeah. Uh, why aren't you at your station? It's still morning. My voice is all kinds of. <laughs> Sans. Because I've worked a big ton today. Sans. Don't you dare. <laughs> a skeleton. <laughs> Papyrus. Yeah. Oh, he went all. He went all undyne up on Sans there. He went all undyne. That's awesome. Yeah! 
Oh, my voice sucks today. I'm sorry. Impressions in the morning? Bad idea. Two sins. Oh, that's the one I just read. Okay, well, that was easy. Thing is, like, I get on Hypixel, and I'm on, I'm on Hypixel a lot of times while I'm still on my server. But I kind of don't pay attention here, because I really just try to get people to migrate to my actual server. That's what I want. I want to bring more people in. And the people that do come say they like it better than Hypixel. So it's like, uh... So I mean, I stand there next to the sign. That is not the delivery man. I'm sorry. I <laughs> just clicked on some random person. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, I need my rewards. Why aren't you giving them to me? <laughs> random person. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, wow. I'm smart. So smart. I apologize, I have like the sniffles today too. What kind of stuff I got. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a weird noise. I think I'm gonna go for the mystery dust. I like mystery dust when it comes to my housing. Right. Go back to Hypixel to enjoy it. Well, I will. I actually missed part of my streak because of the Hy uh, Hypixel being down. And I just wanted to, um... Yay! Um, I just wanted to... Um... I forgot what I was saying. Oh! And I just wanted to get down to, you know, like, uh, you know, reading the mail and, and getting up, uh, getting back up onto the, uh, Hypixel plot so people wouldn't, you know, miss out. And when I did that, I forgot to do one day of, hi, I see you waving at me, but I kind of can't do it. Say bye. All right then. But anyway, yeah, so I actually missed a day in my street. So I had to go back and start over from one. Thankfully, my streak was only one. So it was okay. Alright, that's it. That's all I've got. So now it's time for me to go to my server. There's already some people there, so this should be interesting. There's going to be people hounding me to change their name colors. Ah! <laughs> Jeez. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I'm still in Doc's house. This is like one of his houses. Um, and I'm blocked in. Literally blocked in. <laughs> I made a pun. Uh, Doc! Help! No, I'm kidding. I can get out. I'll just uh, teleport to someone. TP. Polar Bear Brother. That was not what I meant to do. Okay. TP Icicle 06 Polar Bear Brother. This guy's getting picked on. I'm sorry. There we go. I rescued you from the house that's blocked in. Doc! <laughs> Maybe you should make sure that nobody quit their game in your house before you block it up. It's okay though. She's just like, thanks. It's like, yeah, no problem, sure. We were stuck there. Alright, so, um, there's some book and quills in there. Jeez Louise, people! Yeah, they, I forgot. They can't give me the books. Alright, so I need to go to my house now. My other house. Oh, right. Here we are again. Just me and you, comedian, right? I'm waiting for her to say that. I love that song, by the way. Stronger than you. I like the Shara response. I think that's pretty cool. How did you get your names colored? I'm working on that, okay? I have things I need to do real quick. Hold on. I will get to that in a moment. Oh my, and see this is what I mean, like there's a whole bunch of things that I need to read. 
All right, so, okay. So first we have, I think, no, never mind, I won't. Okay, I'm just gonna read it in this order. So, El Pollo, which is uh, um, the chicken in Spanish. Oh, yeah, that's right, god dang it. Maybe I'm just gonna get rid of the mail system altogether here. <laughs> it's kind of a pain. So first things first, story of the chicken. Once upon a time, there was a chicken. His name was El Pollo. He was so famous that he died. The end. Sad. <laughs> that was not the end of El Pollo. This is the real story of the end of El Pollo. <laughs> he died. The end. That's the same as the last ending. <laughs> what the heck? The backstory of El Pollo. El Pollo grew up famous. From the time he hatched until he died. The end. Pretty mu mucho... Mucho chacho? Cha... Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay, I was right. Mucho chacho. Ugh! People! And your... Weirdness. Um... I can't get rid of those now. Do I have to go into creative? I have to go into creative. Game mode. One. Lightning SFM. I just do this on a regular basis. Alright, so now... That's not what I wanted to do either! Okay, so, goodbye El Pollo. And this is what I'll do from here on out. We'll do El Pollo facts. Two and three. Ghost is meowing. A question by Emerald X. Mustard by the Doctator, my friend Doc. Uh, interesting title by It's Frisk. I don't know what that is. Truth or Dare by Polar Bear Brother. And read by Kawaii Kaina 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 I think El Pollo facts El Pollo means the chicken in Spanish I know I knew that before I even started reading this yeah how to say oh El Jesus criminy <laughs> how to say El Pollo El Pollo I got that right too Spanish and stuff. El Pollo is not French. Why do I keep saying things that lead into the next one? That's awesome. Can I just keep this streak going? A question. This is a question about... I don't know. So never mind. Do you have any cats or kittens? Well, my cat had kittens a few days ago, and my grandma wants to take them away. I wondered if you had cats, if... Would you want one? Please answer if you can. Uh, I have four cats. And a dog. Um, and a rat. I have a rat, too. Um, and, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, when it comes to, like, kittens and, and wanting them, I don't, um, we're not, like, we don't live, like, by each other. That'd be kind of impossible to do. Um, but yes, I do. I have four cats, and, uh, try that. even if I wanted one, I can't. I mean, that's too many cats in this house, <laughs> so... We got, um, we got Athena, who's the oldest, she's 12. We got her, um, in 2005, she was a year old. I got her from someone, uh, who didn't want her. Basically, she had her, and Athena is, well, for lack of a better term, she's a mooch. She likes to steal things, specifically food. And so, this person got really mad at her one time because she tried to jump up onto a... A little phones in the background. She tried to jump up onto a, like a, oh god dang it, like an end table to steal some hot dogs that were on a plate. And when she did, she scratched a baby. She didn't mean to, but like her back claw sort of brushed against the baby. Didn't hurt the baby, didn't even really draw blood. It was just um, more shock, shock factor than anything. And the mom, you know, got angry and said, I don't want her anymore. And I thought she was beautiful because she's a snowshoe Siamese, which is actually the same uh, species species as, um, or same breed, that's what I meant to say. Same breed as a uh, grumpy cat. Just, that's a fun fact. Um, so she's a, uh, you know, she's a snowshoe Siamese and I absolutely fell in love with her and I took her home and, you know, my mom was like, no, 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 we need to get rid of her. You know, we can't have any cat, any more cats in this house. At the time, we had two. We had my old cat, Oreo, and our old cat, Salem. Salem ran away in 2011, and Oreo passed away last year. 
at the age of 15. So, um, and, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, so we get Athena, and, uh, she and Oreo absolutely hated each other from day one. That was actually quite funny, because even up until his final days, he was still chasing her around. Once he got sick, he stopped, but it was only, he only got sick maybe a couple days before he passed away. So, he was still chasing her and tormenting her, even at age 15, okay? So this cat, he was still, he was still kicking. Um, anyway, uh, so Athena's the oldest now, now that Oreo is gone. Um, and then we got Miranda. I know this has nothing to do with your question at all, but I always mention my cats in my videos and I've never actually gone into any backstory about them. We got Miranda, she belonged to a neighbor down the street and he got angry one day. Uh, I don't think it was, I don't even think it was him. His dad got angry that he had, because his cat had had kittens and Miranda was one of them. And um, his dad got angry that the cats were in the house, so he sort of threw them out. Not literally threw, but I mean, you know, he kicked them out of the house to fend for themselves. Um, one of them absolutely hated the outdoors and sat in front of or underneath my like directly next door neighbor's front steps and I was sitting out on my porch and I heard her meowing and I didn't know what it was it sounded like a bird to be honest because you know kittens they have that really high-pitched squeaky um, tone in their voice um, so we, I heard that a friend and I heard that and we uh, you know, we went over to check it out and it was her and she was just absolutely terrified just tiny little black kitten all black adorable just sitting underneath my uh, my neighbor's steps just crying she didn't know what to do she was scared to death so I took her in and we figured we would try to find a place for her to go and um, I couldn't find one so we ended up keeping her uh, oh about Athena I kind of went off on a tangent there uh, my mom she didn't want to keep Athena so she started putting up flyers to uh, try to get rid of her and then after about like a couple weeks of not hearing anything I was like did you ever find somebody that might be able to take Athena and she said no I took the flyers down I'm like why she's like because I fell in love with her I was like oh <laughs> and to this date uh, Athena is still the most lovable cat we have in the house she always has been um, Oreo was up there too but he was very selective he was he was my cat through and through, and I was his. I mean, he claimed me as his. He was like, nope, you, you, nope, you, you can't have anybody else, and nobody else can have you. You are mine. And so he was really lovey-dovey with me, but when it came to others, he wasn't skittish, and he wasn't mean or anything. He would let people pet him, but he definitely wasn't as lovey as he was with me. So, and I guess that's one of the things I really miss about him not being here. He was, he was my baby. <laughs> um, anyway, that's enough. I'm getting sad talking about that. Um, anyway... So Athena is the most lovable cat we have in the house, and when she, when her time comes, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself because she was the closest one to Oreo. I mean, not like obviously I said earlier they hated each other, but I mean personality-wise, she's the closest one. All the other cats they try to avoid people at all costs, and I don't know why. So moving on to the next one, we've got Ghost. Ghost is Brooke the Undying's cat. Why? Well, because she was supposed to belong to my ex, who um. You know, his friends found this cat, and they couldn't keep the cat in their apartment. So they said, do you guys have a place where he can go? Well, not really, but we'll take him for now. You know, you see a pattern here? We sort of take in cats. <laughs> it's like, we take in rescues, I guess. We don't even mean to. It's like, we really shouldn't do this, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, so we take in Ghost, and we named him Ghost because of his facial markings. He kind of looks like the, um, like the, the skull... Uh, head from Call of Duty Ghost, uh, or Ghost. I don't know if it's Ghost or Ghost. Uh, but anyway, um, so, you know, at the time that, that game was not necessarily big, but I mean, it had come out a few months prior, and so we, um, we named him Ghost because of that. <laughs> it sounds silly now, but, um, and he, uh, he was supposed to belong to my ex, but then we broke up. <laughs> and he didn't foot any of the vet bills or anything. I mean, you know, we got him, we got him fixed. We got him to have his shots and, you know, get flea medicine and all this other stuff. I mean, when we got him, he had an upper respiratory infection. He wasn't doing well. So we even took him to the vet to get that situated. And he didn't really do anything to help out with that. He said he would, he said he would, he said he would, and he didn't. My mom helped pay for it, and I ended up paying her back. So I paid for the entire vet bill. So I was like, you know, you wanted to take responsibility for this cat, but you're not. So I guess he's mine now. 
And then when we broke up, I mean, I didn't actually come out and say that because I'm not mean like that, but I was definitely thinking it. But then when he when he moved out, he moved in with those friends that couldn't keep ghosts in their house. So he ended up staying with me anyway, so it didn't matter. But he absolutely loves Brooklyn. He's, I mean, he loves everybody. He, I mean, again, it's not like, you know, when I say he, lo you know, so-and-so loves this person, doesn't mean they hate everyone else. It's just, he's selective. But when he's around Brooke, I mean, he is all over her. He absolutely adores her. And he's starting to like Travis too. Sometimes Travis purposely scares him and he doesn't like that. But when it comes to the adults though, we're just too tall. He doesn't like us. I'm kidding. He likes us when we're in the bathroom. That's strange. He will like claw at the door, to try to come in. Or if we're in the shower, he somehow manages to open the door. And when we get out, like he'll stand on this little, like I have a little kitty chair sitting in my, in my bathroom. So like when I give the kids baths and stuff, um, I have a place I can sit. It's teeny tiny. It's like really low to the ground. I don't even know how my fat butt fits in there, but uh, whatever. So I'm sitting in this thing, or no, I'm not sitting in this. I get out of the shower and ghost will start licking my leg to get the water droplets off. And I'm like, okay, that's just awkward. Could you please stop? It's so weird. It's just, I don't know. And, and don't worry, it's not like in an appropriate, in an inappropriate place or anything. It's just down on my calf or whatever, but it's like still really awkward. It's like, please don't do that. And last, but finally not least, we have Bonnie. Yes, she was named after Bonnie the Bunny from Five Nights at Freddy's. Why? Because I thought Bonnie is, I think Bonnie is awesome. He's my favorite character. I'm talking about FNAF 1 Bonnie. He's my favorite. And, um, I said regardless of the gender of the cat, the cat would be named Bonnie. Why? Because um, Bonnie in Five Nights at Freddy's is male, but his name is Bonnie. And Bonnie is technically a girl's name. So no matter what the gender of the cat, Bonnie would work. So I named her Bonnie. And she is, oh, I meant to say, um, Ghost is two. Yes, two. Um, and Bonnie is one because we got her, well, she was we got her at about eight weeks old or ten weeks old or something um only a few weeks before oreo passed last year so she's a little over a year old and she's tiny i mean even for like her eight, i mentioned this the other day too she's so small she's like a little poof ball that walks around but anyway so that's that and bonnie's very temperamental she's she's strange uh yesterday she was on my computer tower and she kept like pawing at my leg like hello i know you're there are you gonna come give me lovies or whatever but most of the time she wants nothing to do with us but yesterday she sat on my lap and she didn't want to leave she started playing with the strings on my hoodie which is kind of cute so she's she's like bipolar but anyway about the cats good luck finding people um i don't know exactly where you're located and it's not my business but if you have access to craigslist or if anyone in your family has access to craigslist well, maybe that's not a good idea that's not a good idea. Never mind. Don't do Craigslist. Because you, you can never trust the people there. They could act like they're, you know, huge cat lovers, big fans, and they don't have good intentions for the cats. Um, maybe, um, bring them to a nearby shelter or something. Make sure it's a no-kill shelter. Some places are cruel. Anymore, when it comes to animals, you can't seem to find anything that's good. But, um... I don't know. We have a local humane society that's amazing with animals. We have another one called Speak, which is also amazing with animals. And I don't think that's a local thing. I think you can find a, a humane society and a Speak anywhere. I think. Don't quote me on Speak, but humane society, yes. I know you can. That is if you're in the U.S. I don't know what it's like in other countries. Hey, somebody in my house? Somebody's in my house. Who is it? I see the name. Alright, so next one. How'd you get stuck in there? LOL. <laughs> I love mustard. That is all. I was telling him, this is by Doc. Oh, uh, I was telling him yesterday he should be under Fel Sands because I said something about, you know, I was role playing and I said, you know, Sands pulls out a bottle of ketchup and starts drinking it or whatever. And he stopped door spamming. Dang it. He didn't people do that. And Doc said something about loving mustard or something like that. And I was like, oh my God, you need to be under Fel Sands. Seriously, that's hilarious. He's like, okay, I'm gonna go change my name to Underfell Sands. I'm like, wait, no, no, you don't have to change your name. I'm like, if you want, you can change your skin. 
You don't have to change your name. I'm like, I'm Sans and my screen name is Lightning. I don't plan to change it anytime soon. <laughs> Just because I roleplay as Sans doesn't mean that I, you know, I have to change my name. Nobody actually has to change their name. And that's the cool thing about Minecraft. You can be whoever you want, but still keep your screen name. I'm a boy, 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 blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, when will you understand? Oh, and I'm not Genocide Frisk. I'm Derp Frisk. I never once said you were either a boy or a girl, did I? I don't know. Um. And, um, I don't, I didn't know, I don't care. It, I just... Yes. Um, this Frisk has a derp face on its chin. So, like, when, when he puts his head back... It's like revealing another face, and it's just like a derpy face. So it's kind of funny that, that he said that, but... I'm sorry, if I ended up referring to you as she in... Um, when I'm reading these letters, <clears throat> it's the only thing I can think of. Um, it's just because of the fact that you're Frisk. And, you know, I, I shouldn't do that because technically, when Toby Fox created the game, both Shara and Frisk can be either male or female. So it's just, I've sort of adapted the fact that Frisk is female. So, sorry. You might still get that from time to time from me. I'm an idiot. I'm forgetful. Truth or dare? Give, okay, hold on, one million dollars to charity and be rich, or stay the way you are and stay with your good house buddies. Why can't I do both? <laughs> um, if I gave a million dollars to charity, how the heck would I be rich? Wouldn't that be the exact opposite? If I gave a million dollars to charity, I would be really poor. <laughs> like, really poor. Because I don't even have a million dollars. So, uh, no. I, I know what you're trying to say. Um, you know what? Money can't buy happiness or love. I would rather stay the way I am and stay with my good friends and house buddies. I don't know if you mean on my server in Hypixel or if you mean, um, you know, in, in life in general. My mom and my kids. But either way, um... I just, I like my life the way it is, for the most part. There are some physical issues I have to work through, but other than that, I'm okay. I sad now. Wait, who is this by? Ah, oh, crap. I think there's a plug-in for this, too, but the thing is, like, I don't want to overload this place with plugins. But I'm trying to make it as close to Hypixel as, as possible. I don't know. Okay, uh, uh... Oh, this is by Kawaii. I sad now. Why are you sad? No sadness. Alright, so then we get to go back. Those are only the ones that were in my uh, my actual inventory. This should be fun. We still have a lot more to go. Put them in an ender chest. Oh my god. <laughs> 9, 18, 27. We got 27 of these to read. Let's hop to it! And this is after throwing away some of the junk ones that make no sense. No offense to the people who wrote those. But there were some of them I just... I mean, I, I literally ran out of room. And you can see why. That's why now I have a limit. Not that it matters, though, because people keep just doing what they're not supposed to do with it. it makes me mad. Uh, well, it's okay. At least this time it'll be a long video. It'll make up for the one that was only 10 minutes yesterday. I was kind of bummed about that. I didn't realize it was going to be so short, but I had to cut a few things out, too. Um, messages from people that I didn't feel they wanted to be public. I respect people's privacy. So if they write me a message that I don't feel should be put on YouTube, if I started to read it or if I even opened it, because I know people can pause you know, the video and read it themselves, I completely edit that out. And I don't explain why, either. Oh, so this is joke book. I saw this one yesterday. Pun, 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 pun. And this is what Papyrus has to deal with every stinking day. <laughs> yep, now, now we know why he's so angry. Sans! Yeah. Dear Undyne, I like you. I don't think that was meant to make it into my box. I'm pretty sure that was by Super Love Annoyed. Because they were role-playing last night. Yep. F-word. By Undertale Snaz. Let it go, it's a troll. I'm not actually going to type the F word. Wait, or am I? Dun dun dun. Ooh, suspenseful. 
Will I type it? Who knows? I won't type it. Or will I? <laughs> and then there's that. F star star K. The only reason I originally thought at the end of it all that it really was just going to be the complete F word, not edited or anything, and I was like, I'm not going to be able to put that on my channel because I am trying to keep it as PG as possible. But because they started out, I decided to keep it because it, it made me laugh. I don't know how many times I skipped through and had to go back and read all the dialogue because it's like the pages were random. This book is... Excuse me. This book, which is this book. Therefore, this book, the end. I wonder if people eat a lot of sugar before they come here. Hold on, I have hiccups. I need to take another drink. I've seriously been getting hiccups all morning, and I don't know why. <laughs> so weird. Um. Oh. Fluffy. By who? I don't know who this is. I'm sorry. Once upon a time, there was a rhyme about a lime who paid a fine. <laughs> That's adorable. Why do I find that adorable? This is not adorable. So he pooed on all your food so that a noob would never zoom. The end. Well, that got gross very quickly. <laughs> I love the lime who paid a fine. I think that is adorable. You are the next Dr. Seuss, my friend. You are the next Dr. Seuss. Who is that? Who did that? Oh, Undertale Snaz. Snaz. I love how I say that. <laughs> I don't even know that's how it was pronounced. But I don't care, because it's funny. Metaton. If you're... <laughs> oh my god. I read this one yesterday. It died. If you're happy and you know it, Metaton. <laughs> I'm not going to sing it. If you're happy and you know it, Metaton. If you're happy and you know it, and you think robots aren't stupid, if you're happy and you know it, Metaton. <laughs> oh my god. Some of the things that people come up with are so creative. This is why this never gets old. I mean, yeah, sometimes I get some of the same messages, and it's like, I love your plot, or I love your server, you're doing such a great job, but I like those messages too. Those never get old either. They may say the same things, but they don't get old. But the funniest thing is when people do things like that because it, it never gets old. There's always something new. How do you be in this ser Oh, this is called- There's two of them?! How do you be in this server and Hypixel housing? Oh wait, this isn't called this. There's two of them. This is someone else. Um. Well, I answered this question before, and this question is going to come up again. Um. Mainly because I thought it was hilarious the way that the person was saying it. Um. I can be at both because I open up two instances of Minecraft. So it's like I open Minecraft, I go into a server, then I go and I click the little Minecraft icon, it opens up a second Minecraft, I get into it, and I go into the other server. I don't think I can put myself in the same server twice, <laughs> so I can actually be in two different servers. It's underscore frisk actually taught me that trick. So thank you, buddy. Male buddy, now that I know. Um, he, uh, he showed me that trick. Um, because I happen to see the same thing, and I'm like... I go into Hypixel, and I'm like, hey, you didn't have to leave. I said, I, I'm still, I'm coming back to the server, and he's like, um, I'm there, too. Wait, what? How'd you do that? You know? I'm so used to things where you can't log in in more than one place or whatever. Nope. Uh, Minecraft lets you do that. So, yeah. That's a little fun fact. Thank you, It's Frisk, for explaining that to me. I wouldn't have known that. Much awe. Guess what I did yesterday? What did you do? I lived. Well, that's good. That's good. That's deep. Inspirational. I like it. Moo! This is by Doc, as well. Moo! Well, moo, 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 moo. To you, too. Wow, that was weird. Flashy. Oh, it's called A Story. <laughs> By the way, Icicle, that was very, um, that was actually, I know that sounds, I don't know if you meant it as a joke or not, but that was actually very inspirational. It really is. Because it's like, yeah, you lived, you know? And that's a miracle all in itself. Everyone, you know, you never know, you never know what's going to happen in life. Let's just put it that way. They say life is short for a reason. Okay. Hi! That's not even Temi hi. That's not even hoi. It's ha. Hey, Lightning. Even though it's my first time on your server, it's so cool. But I think it's a work in progress. I don't see an exit to the J Hall. Uh, Judgment Hall. But it's awesome so far. Hope you can do more. Luna 10. 
Now, I don't know if you mean you don't see an exit from Judgment Hall or if at, the, at this time you didn't see Judgment Hall at all. Judgment Hall is there and it's bigger than the one over at Hypixel. Um, but um, there, there is no exit out of it yet because I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I obviously want to do a barrier like I did over at Hypixel. But I also... I don't want to do a surface like I did at Hypixel because it's just it's a pain in the butt. I have to build a room that would be the surface. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. That's why there is no exit from J-Hall because it is it is still sort of a work in progress. I don't know if I'm just going to make it an exit so people can come back out on the world. That would probably be more convenient for people so they don't have to keep walking through the underground just to get them, themselves back out. I don't know. We'll work on it. If anyone has any suggestions, let me know. Howdy. Nice house. Howdy, it's me, Flowey. Flowey the flower. Die! <laughs> well, alright then. I don't wanna, I'm too young to die. Hi, Frisk. Howdy, by Flowey, slash Ezreal. Hello, Toriel. Heya, Sans. Hello, human! Papyrus. Greetings. With a smiley face. Oh, the smiley face is creepy. Shara. Hello, darling. Metaton. Okay, there's some characters saying hi to you. Have a nice day. Well, thank you, and hi, everyone. And you, too. That's awesome. Hi, <laughs> I found out how to get here, and on um, September 29th, 2016, Hypixel was lagging. And if you were at your house, then that's why I wasn't on much. Well, this place is awesome. Have a nice day. Thank you. Um, I actually saw your your message um, about that. Yeah, Hypixel was having some issues. Um, even after they stopped the attacks on them, there was still a lot of lag and a lot of issues. Seems to be running smoothly today, though. By the way, I'm the frisk with the flower on my head, and it's flowy, but bad and good flowy on the side of my head. Oh. I haven't seen that yet. I'll have to go and look. Oh no, do I have to read this in Metaton's voice? Okay, fine. <sighs> Hello, darling. It is... It, it... I can't read! <laughs> it is I, the fabulous Metaton, and I'm here to say that this server is a lot greater with me around as the people all around bow down to me in my glory <laughs> jk but still keep up the good work <laughs> thank you and i apologize if my metaton voice is less than stellar i don't you know i don't uh -uh. i don't have a low enough voice to actually make it sound like a guy i just sort of make him sound like cruella deville <laughs> right anyway thank you i appreciate it from both you and metaton what is this called? Crap. Important. With excellent. Uh, in capital letters. I would really like to work on Asgore's throne room. I would use slash tell, but you keep ignoring me there. I just really want an answer. I swear I would do good building. Asgore's throne room. I promise I won't grief. Awaiting feedback. Okay, wait. I wasn't ignoring you. Actually, every single time I saw your message, I would reply. But maybe chat was moving so fast you didn't see it. Um, I was saying that right now I'm the only one that can build. Same thing as at Hypixel. Um, we'll talk about the throne room thing. I wasn't actually going to make one. Um, but, because I didn't do that at Hypixel. But if you'd like me to, I will. And, yeah, I might need some help. Maybe. We'll see. But, uh, I'll let you know. And if I see you on... Wait, who was that? It was Undertale Snaz, I think. So, yeah, uh, I'll talk to that person when I get off here. Or not, not get off here, but I mean, like, stop reading the mail. Um, I found out how to get to your server, smiley face. Yay! But when I'm here, I see you. But when I'm in housing of Hypixel, I see you. Are there two of you? <laughs> yes, there are. There are two of me. The thing is, I can only be at one place at a time. I mean, I, I said earlier, yes, I can be at both places physically. But when I'm typing and when I'm engaging, I'm at one place or the other. So you'll see me more often here, actually talking to people, and me just sort of being a placeholder over at Hypixel. But there are times where I'll go on to Hypixel and say hi to people too. So it, it's complicated. Um, but yes, I am at both places. With a little time, if you want, let me... I can transform this place from some wooden blocks to actual houses, like real-looking, livable houses. What's wrong with wood? I think this is a perfectly fine livable house. I like this the way it is, really. I mean, I might, you know, tweak some things here and there, but I don't, I don't really need. I mean, I appreciate your you offering, but it's actually a little offensive. <laughs> no offense. Oh, jeez, that sounds wrong. 
defensive, no offense. Um, just because I, I mean, I, I've worked pretty hard on all of this, and then somebody saying, oh, well, real, actual living houses. Well, I know plenty of people who have houses made out of wood. So this is the last little, um, set of nine that I have going on here. Hey there, buddy, chum, pal, friend, buddy, pal, chum, bud, friend, fella, brother, amigo, pal, buddy, friend, chummy, chum, friend, pal. I don't mean to be rude. My friend, pal, home slice, bread slice, dog. But I gotta warn ya. You take one more. Did it, did it, ah, shoot. Diddy, darn, step. Right there. I'm gonna have to diddy darn snap your neck. Because friend, buddy, chum, friend, chum, pally pal, chum friend, if you keep this up, then well gosh, diddy darn, I might, I just might have to get not so friendly with ya. My friendly friend, friend, buddy, chum, pally friend, chum buddy. Keep scrolling. I'm only going slowly just in case there are other uh, things. No, there isn't. Okay. Why did I do this? <laughs> I don't know, but that was awesome. Oh, uh, God. Potatoes! Potatoes! See? And I like potatoes. Sorry. Ah. Why? She's Louise. Hi. I just like sending stuff. If you wonder why I just send stuff to you and in housing of Hypixel, your house is housing. Ugh, I can't read. Your housing is awesome and this place is awesome too. Okay, Gaster, go away. You forgot your things to talk with. Excuse me again. I have you the vlog. Gaster. Well, gotta see what Gaster is saying. Bye. See ya. Good luck with Gaster. And thank you. Lightning, this is the best server. Better than Hypixel and the Hive. I think that was from Brooke. Yep. Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate that. I, um... Uh-oh. I don't... I... Uh... Thanks! I, mean, I don't know what else to say. Thank you. I mean, I have worked kind of hard on it, and I, I really hope that people would enjoy it, so... I'm glad they do. What? What? 9 plus 10. It's 19. Unless there's some sort of joke I'm not getting. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Right, Flowey? Jeez. Hey yo, Lightning! I wrote this while riding that minecart that you guys built earlier. Oh my god, that's the funniest thing ever. I'm gonna put that little video clip at the end of, of this video. I should have done it yesterday, but I didn't. But I'm definitely gonna put it at the end of this video because it's, it's hilarious. I don't know why... I can imagine that watching the things on the screen are, is not as funny as when you're actually witnessing it at the time, but trust me, it's hilarious, in my opinion. Anyway, just a thought. Since we always fist fight around Snowden, why not build a ring for us to fight in? You could always place a, a slime block in and out of the ring to bounce out. Um, I just thought it would be more fun. Probably not a real word, they said funner. Um, and less chaotic within Snowden. I don't know, just a thought. Anyway, just stay awesome. Keep up your awesome builds and your awesome videos. Yeah! Pokey Tail Sands slash Wisp. Wisp the kitty. Um, actually, I did build one last night, but I think I'm gonna change it a little bit because I put slime blocks all around the outside of it and you don't bounce off of them from the side. You only bounce off of them from the middle. So, um, yeah, I, I have to sort of perfect it, but I did build one because I saw that message and I thought it was cool. Um, hey, you light. By the way, you forgot the core, and this is such a cool map. Um, I actually didn't forget the core. I just didn't make it. I didn't do it because, in my opinion, there really isn't anything too significant that happens in the core except for the battle with Metaton, which I could probably try to put something in there for that. But, I mean, as it stands... I even put a sign up at the end of the MTT Resort saying, uh, to Judgment Hall, skipping the core. I didn't put the core at Hypixel either. Um, once there was an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly that everyone died. The end. Wasn't that so heart- Ugh, I can't read. Wasn't that so heartwarming? Um, no. I kind of feel bad for the barnacle. But, hey, <laughs> whatever. 
All right, so that's it for the mail reading here. I need to go and open up another instance of Minecraft and allow myself on high pixel. This should be fun. And in the meantime, I'm going to edit this video and I'm going to try to get it up at a decent time. Let's also hope that I don't go to bed at two o'clock in the morning like I did last night, right? Because I am so smart. Anyway, that being said, have a good day, night, whatever it is where you are, and I will be back tomorrow with another mail reading. Um, hopefully I'll get something to help me out here uh, with the actual like mailbox or something. Bye!